Greetings, Special Kids team. Um, I'm here at, on location filming at Middle Tennessee uh, Christian School. Here in episode four, we have a special guest with us. Carrie Goodwin is the co-founder of Special Kids, and I've asked her to come and share two little things with us in a humongous God story that she lived and walked for a couple of years while God was giving her and her family the passion to start Special Kids. So Carrie, come on in here with us. Hey, Chris. Hi there. Good to see you tonight. Good to see you. Um, Carrie is going to share with us a, a couple things, but she's had a special story about when uh, God was calling her and her dad to start Special Kids. She had an incident that happened on her horse, and it just really impacted my faith to hear her share that. So I'm going to let Carrie tell us about that. It's funny how God can use animals to, to change our lives, the animals that are close to us. But um, basically, you know, I was struggling with where's the property, where's the property, where are we supposed to be, God? Show me. And I kept trying to make everything happen and talk to people and bargain with people. And finally I realized I had never even prayed about it. I never prayed, where do you want us? I just knew we, that he needed us there. So I went and um, went off riding my horse one day and this horse did not like me. Didn't like me a bit. <laughs> Every time I got on that horse, so I was ready for him. And I get on him and he's, he's bucking and he's trying to throw me and I'm holding on with every ounce of my mind to this horse. And I literally hear a voice in my head that said, just let go. Those three words. And those are the only times I've heard a voice in my head. <laughs> but um, I knew in that very second that, that I was supposed to let go of the property and that he was going to find it if I would just trust him. But he also meant let go of the reins and let me prove to you I've got it. And um, I put my hands up and it, there was not a doubt that I was fine. And um, I don't remember much from there except that I got up off the ground and my mother came over from the porch and said, you just floated to the ground like a feather. I just watched you float to the ground. So I'm so glad somebody saw that because uh, I didn't even feel the ground. Um, I got right up. There was not a mark on me. Um, I never even felt myself touch the ground. So immediately knew that it was to be prayed about and God would show us where he wanted us. So that's my crazy voices in my head story. But the favorite thing about that is do we ever trust, do we ever have any doubt that if your dad said to you, hey, let go of that and fall down here, I've got you, I've got you. Or do we doubt our parents? No, no. but we doubt God. We, we take it back, we, give, you know, we do this push and pull thing, but we can't doubt. This is the ultimate in faith, and um, he is our father, and he's got it. Or do you have faith in where you're supposed to be? Do you have faith in what you're doing? And do you have trust that God says he's got it? So let him have it. And um, that, you know, it was a big moment. And um, I don't know that I've ever heard voices again, thank yeah. goodness. But I knew that it was God saying he got it and just to let me, you know, take my hands off of it. So that, that was my fun story. Well, that's an amazing story. Thank you, Carrie, for sharing that. Thank you for letting me. And in the future, we're going to hear the next step of that story about the property itself because that is another amazing God story. So we'll invite Carrie back and another episode and ask her to share that story with us because it truly is amazing. So thank you, Carrie, for thank joining us. Thank you for letting us. me. Philippians chapter 4, verse 8, and that reads, Finally, brothers, whatever is true, whatever is noble, whatever is right, whatever is pure, whatever is lovely, whatever is admirable, if anything is excellent or praiseworthy, think about such things. So that's a good challenge for each of us, especially for me, but it's a wonderful challenge for us to think about those things that God gives us and sends to us. So I want to give you guys a little bit of a business uh, segment update and uh, I hear a lot of questions about um, our hiring practices and recruiting and what's going on. And guys, I had to write this down because God is doing so much, it's so encouraging. But we've been interviewing for the central scheduler position. We've made an offer for that position. We've been interviewing for the family resources coordinator position. And we've made, uh, we're getting ready to make an offer for that position. Um, in occupational therapy. You know Miss Libby's been there with us for about a month and then we've, we've made a hire but we're also uh, having a second interview and, and about to make another offer for a third occupational therapy so keep praying your prayers are powerful and effective. Um, we've been blessed to hire a full-time physical therapist and we have an, uh, we're working on getting an interview set up for a part-time physical therapist to join us and then we have three more new applicants for speech pathology positions so guys continue to pray I appreciate you guys pressing in with us to pray um, and as I said earlier we're filming at the banquet 
at Middle Tennessee Christian School. And speaking of that, that is a development event. And speaking of development, they actually have two open positions right now. And so they're pushing on forward and working hard to keep from filling those positions through at least through the end of the year uh, to help with our cash. Um, but pray for them as they're doing that because they're going two men down, two ladies down actually, sorry about that. Uh, two ladies down and so just be praying for them as they continue on and I know everyone in the annex and our support crew and everyone in the uh, nursing center everybody's cranking it right now so just thank you guys for what you're doing I see the hard work that you're doing and it's and it makes a difference and you guys are meeting the mission that Christ set us on so thank you for that okay guys in lieu of a trivia question this time you've been you're going to be issued a challenge uh, in the nursing building, they've hired a new food specialist whose name is Miss Ann. She's really sweet. She has a really cool chef's coat, so you need to get down and visit her and see that. One of the things about Miss Ann is she loves plants, and she has a plant growing in the windowsill of the kitchen in the nursing center. So here's your challenge. Go down and see Miss Ann and tell her what, the, what that plant is, learn what that is. And should you accept the challenge, the next part of the challenge is that if 40 or more team members text me by Friday, October 5th at noon, and I'm cutting it off at noon, noon o'clock sharp, then if you text me the correct plant name, then I have agreed that I will let Miss Ann throw a pie in my face on video. So that's the challenge. You've been challenged. Will you accept the challenge? So this has been episode four of The Morning Buzz with Chris. Thank you for spending time with me. And until next time, 